hey there i hope it's going great till now in the playlist so as i already promised that if anything new is going to come in front of you i will make a video on it so here i am making a video on time complexity analysis now there might be people who already know what time complexity analysis is they have solved a few questions and they were able to find out the time complexity and the space complexities of those questions they can simply skip this video and move on to the next one and it is same for the entire playlist if in the playlist you are well aware of that question and you have already solved that question before you can simply skip it and move on to the next one if you are confident that you know all the approaches to that question in this video i will be discussing the basics of time complexity and the space complexity analysis and again i am not going to cover the entire time complexity and the space complexity because there is just a waste of time we will be doing it ahead when we come to other questions in which we will have different time complexities and the space complexities we will come back and again revisit the time complexity analysis but as of now i am going to explain you in very simple terms what time complexity analysis is so basically in interviews we are often asked to find the big o notation or the worst time complexity of an algorithm so let us say i have an array so this is my array and the size of this array and we already know that we can use vectors also in place of array so let us consider this as a vector so we have a vector of size n there are n elements in this vector now i want to print all these elements one by one so what will i have to do i will have to start from i is equal to 0 and i will have to go till i n minus 1 so basically i will be going to n places in total I will be visiting n elements I will be going to n places so let us say going to one place or going to one element take one unit of time so going to n elements is going to take n unit of time so this is what our time complexity or the big O of notation is the worst case complexity is big O of n we will be going to all of these elements that is why we will take big O of n time so this is the time complexity now let us consider another case so another case is let us say for each of these elements we are doing some other work like we are visiting them one by one so we are visiting all these elements one by one but each time we visit one of the element we are doing something else also so let us say we are at the index one we are here at the index one now from here I will have to go to all of these indices which are ahead of this and try to find out the element which is greater than the current element okay so for each element I'm going to find the element which is ahead of this and is greater than this 1 2 minus 1 0 and 3 now what I'm saying is for each element I have to find the element which is ahead of this so for 1 I will have to find the element which is ahead of 1 and is greater than 1 so I will be starting with j another pointer j another iterator j which will be equal to i plus 1 I will be starting from here and I will be going till the point I didn't find an element which is greater than 1 so fortunately I was able to find this in the very next step I was able to find the element which is greater than 1 in the very next step but it might be possible that I would have to go till the end it might be possible so let us say if instead of 2 I was taking here minus 3 instead of 2 if I have minus 3 here then I will have to go till the end and when I reach 3 I will be able to get the answer or maybe instead of this 3 I have another element minus 5 so I won't be able to get the answer for 1 in this case okay but fortunately we got the answer in the in one step only similarly for 2 it is 3 for minus 1 it is 0 for 0 it is 3 and for 3 there's no such element so basically for each element we are visiting the elements which are ahead of this one so in the worst case we will have to visit for the first element in the worst case we might have to go till the end so for i is equal to 0 for i is equal to 0 I will have to traverse from 1 till n minus 1 now for i is equal to 1 I will have to traverse from 2 till n minus 1 for i is equal to 2 I will have to traverse from 3 
till n minus 1 in the worst case I'm talking about the worst case complexities here so in the worst case it might be possible that the entire array is a decreasing array so 3 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 so for 3 I will not be able to find any element which is greater than 3 so I will be going to all of these places one by one till the end then from 2 I will start and I will be going to all of these places one by one I won't find any element which is greater than 2 similarly for 1 0 minus 1 and minus 2 so, so for the index 3 I will be going from 4 till n minus 1 and so on for the index n minus 1 I won't be going to any place so here these are so what I can do is I can take the summation of these operations so it will be how many operations are here here are n minus 1 operations here are n minus 2 operations here are n minus 3 operations till 1 so basically we got a series 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n minus 1 so what will be the formula for this one we already know from our 10th standard the formula for this one it is nothing but n into n minus 1 divided by 2 so the formula for uh, this one 1 plus 2 plus till n is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 but here we have till n minus 1 only so it is n into n minus 1 divided by 2 so this is the formula these many operations are there these much this much unit of time it is going to take so if we expand it if we expand it we are going to get n square minus n divided by 2 so which is equal to n square divided by 2 minus n divided by 2 now for very high values of n very high positive values of n this n will be negligible as compared to n square that is why we can ignore the term n so the growth of this function n square is very much as compared to n n is a linear function n is going to increase something like this while n square is going to increase something like this so the growth of n square is very much that is why we are just going to drop this term out so here we can say that the complexity is big O of n square big O of n square so this is the time complexity of the solution okay I think this is enough till now we can continue with the videos and then when new things come I will try to explain the time complexity of them as well now similarly there is space complexity so to store n elements into a vector or into an array I am using big O of n extra space and if I have a matrix of size n cross m then I will be using big O of n cross m extra space and if I have let's say few variables int a int b so to store these variables I will be using big O of one extra space that is the constant extra space so this is called the constant extra space this is called big O of n extra space this is called m into n extra space and if m is equal to n this is also called big O of n square space complexity so these things will be clear more when we solve more examples and in each of the video please try to come up with the space and the time complexities by your own and comment them even if I forget to discuss them during the video sometimes so you can just comment them and if you got them wrong I will surely I will surely rectify it so this is it for the video if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and now you are good to go to the next video